Hello Beast, I guess I'll start off vlog number eight. Um, I was on Tom Green's WebOvision show. He actually let me host and get some practice uh, hosting his show. And um, yeah, in order to get people to sign up to, I just farted, to sign up and, and keep that studio alive, uh, we asked that people connect to the PayPal, or not PayPal, it's called ConnectPal. I think it's $5.99, but you're actually buying like a, a subscription. Um, and I, I'm actually going to be doing live uh, shows through subscription every week, but it's like interactive. Um, and I'll be doing challenges, fan requests. I think it's really cool, and I think it's it's the future. So, yeah, I said for everybody who did sign up, I was going to um, send them an autograph sticker. These are limited edition. Uh, not very many are left that still say Crystal Pepsi due to copyright issues and uh, autographs. So, yeah, thank you to everybody who did subscribe. I think there's about 12. So, you'll all be getting an autograph and sticker. So, LABs vlog number eight. It's going to be a great fucking day. It's 1.30 in the morning. I need to go to bed. Good day. All right. Uh, I was up until 3 in the morning um, editing last night's or yesterday's vlog. And, yeah, I did the Tom Green Show stuff, and, um, yeah, people subscribed, and I had to write all these autographs and send out stickers like I said I would. And now I'm exhausted as fuck. And you know what? I'm not going to swear today, so I'm exhausted as heck. Great. See, I'm already starting off on a great foot on improving myself. Um, and today's going to be a day of improvements and serious stuff. <laughs> not shit, but stuff. And, um... Yeah, I have a I have a deadline to get this Crystal Pepsi video footage done today. I there is no there this probably is not going to be a fun vlog today, but I, I feel like I just said deja vu. I, I feel like that's weird. And whatever you do, kids, always make sure to make your bed. Voila. And that, my friends, is how you make a bed like an absolute champ. You fuck. I just open hand slam palm that door and it felt good. About to start my day like a boss. <laughs> that really hurt. Whatever you do, kids, do not open slam flan stays palm slap a door. Why, why did I even say that? There's a fly. I think we have an infestation. Jesus, an infestation. I'm not even saying the right word, but there are flies in the bathroom. And now I was gonna start my video edit, but now I'm scrubbing the I'm scrubbing the shower with the uh, with the toilet scrubber. So if I ever touch these walls again, it's like I'm touching my own shit. And I have this about two inches away from my face. I'm standing here, and I may or may not have just sharted. And for those of you who don't know what a shart is, it's when you fart and accidentally shit yourself. I was looking at this, uh, admiring my Crystal Pepsi airplane can plane, and I sharted. And since this is LA Beast Vlogs, I thought I would vlog it. I may, did I, am I the first vlogger who sharted looking at a Crystal Pepsi airplane plane? I think I am. I'm up. <laughs> Can't speak. Taking a break from editing, even though I haven't started editing yet. Jesus, fuck. And, and I said I wasn't going to swear, so I apologize. Uh, I was the foul throw shooting champion for Mount Carmel Church back in 1997. I have a plaque and certificate, and I'd just like to show you how I sink buckets like a boss. You got to get the trajectory correct. Come out from here. Have a good day. Okay, great. Uh, you guys just went through the basketball hoop. I just sent the entire LA Beast Nation through basketball hoop. It's gonna, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> okay. <sighs> just got my new bottle of Furious Cuts, even though this is the same bottle I've always had. I think I just broke the light bulb. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you how I take my Furious Cuts every morning like a boss with no water. Swallow them down like that. 
from right down the hatch. And they just go right on down. I can feel them burning my throat and... Okay. But... And that's how, that's how you do not eat pills. Because now that hurt. I think the camera's upside down. Good day. What the fuck am I doing? On the next frame that you see, I will be serious. If anybody's into protein shakes, I get one of these every day, but the 64 ounce side. This is not a shameless plug. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but... Bolt House Farms Protein Plus is the shit. It's really good. And I just said shit. I said shit instead of shit. And I said I wasn't going to swear today. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to sign another contract today. Let's see how that one goes. And uh, pick something up from the mailbox. I'm going to head back and edit my stuff. So, yeah, it's a quick, quick day today. Just want to bring you out on the road, get some sunshine. And I just wanted to wear these sweet glasses. All right, I just uh, was driving by another place and I'd like to exercise my idiot savant, 90s pop culture thing, knowledge, and show you a cool spot from one of my favorite movies, White Men Can't Jump, starring Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. So I'm going to walk up the road here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so right there on the corner is the Hotel Shangri-La where Woody Harrelson's girlfriend, Gloria, uh, the movie White Men Can't Jump, stayed when she was a guest on Jeopardy. So, you know, Wesley Snipes came running out across the street right there to talk to Woody Harrelson right in this area. So if you watch the movie White Men Can't Jump, you will see the Hotel Shangri-La. Go up to get a close-up of those lions. Shangri-La. There it is. This is the movie from the movie. White Man Can't Jump. <laughs> Alright, I just walked a mile out of the way to do this, so let's go back to the car and sign those fucking contracts. I wasn't going to swear today. Uh, this is just a standard W9 form for to license a clip to a television show and thank God my pen didn't work. It's actually from Gino's from uh, Gino's Steakhouse in Philadelphia. If I could show the fucking pen. God damn it. I'm not gonna swear today. And yeah, luckily for me my pen didn't work, so that little bit where I scribble all over the paper, uh, I just saved myself two dollars and twenty-nine cents. So whatever you do, kids. Don't scribble on contracts, because you'll save yourself some money. Message from LA Beast to you. LA Beast, this is going to be a monumental day here. I just, this thing was inside of a box, inside of a box, inside of a box, and it was just sent to me, and oh boy. Uh, let me put the camera down for a second. Do I have a booger in my nose? And inside of that box, inside of a box, this is the holy grail of juice boxes. Uh, yeah, December, what does it say? December 25th, Christmas time, 1993, is when this was best to be drunk by. This is like a mint condition. High C Ecto Cooler juice box, which is, I paid $399.99. Uh, and I got some free shipping, so it was a great deal. These things are so rare. I think only three, maybe three, I think it was three of these and a, in poor condition, like can, high C Ecto cooler. That can went for $2,000 and the other juice boxes went in the high 500s. So I got a steal. Uh, yeah, I am going directly to the bank 
and putting this in a safety deposit box because this thing belongs in the Smithsonian Museum. The, like I held, I held one of these when I was uh, a child, and right now I'm kind of, I feel like I'm back in the 90s. It's like a time machine. I don't even want to touch this anymore because this is insane. This is this is like a mint condition high C ecto cooler juice box. Yeah, there's this is Slimer from Ghostbusters. If anybody from high C is listening, let's bring back the ecto cooler. That was a bullshit wink. All right, right now I'm at my local banking institution, Bank of America, and I'm going to be depositing this into my safety deposit box uh, until I get another safety deposit box. This thing is the holy grail of juice boxes and 90s kids snack foods. All right, uh, yeah, I guess I'm a sick bastard for depositing a juice box into a safety deposit box. And yeah, if those of you who think you know this location of the bank, it's fine. Uh, I will be moving it to another location tomorrow. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool holding that juice box. I felt like I was reliving my childhood and yeah, I'm, I'm a sick bastard for paying $399.99 for a juice box. All right, uh, uh, yeah, I gotta sit down now and edit this Crystal Pepsi footage. Uh, it's due, there's a deadline for the end of today, but yeah, it was cool to get outside, run around, show you some cool stuff. Just got this in the mail. Uh, Rude Tube is like the UK's uh, Tosh.0. I was on there for trying to steal eggs from an ostrich nest and they sent me a cool DVD. I uh, got down here the autographed Aaron, Aaron Rodgers football jersey, and there's a Russell Wilson football helmet. Um, these are kind of connected. The giveaway is connected to the video I'm going to post about Crystal Pepsi. So stay tuned to learn how to enter to win those two items. And I think it'll be pretty cool because in order to enter to win, it's like you get to interact with me um, during the football season. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And... I guess also for those, for those who are wondering, um, yeah, I have these cool, have a good day, LABS Crystal Pepsi stickers. There's a link in the description below. And I did all that stuff with Tom Green. And yeah, um, I'm going to start doing live challenges, uh, interactions. There's going to be a studio audience. I'm going to have guests. That's uh, ridiculous. Tom is letting me utilize his studio to, to, I guess create a live, interactive, LA Beast challenge kind of channel where everyone's involved. I want to involve everybody, and I, I think it's the future, and uh, it's going to be a fun time. So stay tuned for those details, and as always, this is LA Beast Vlogs number eight. Stay tuned. Catch you on the flip side. Good day.